Hi guys, it's 12.15 at night, I'm about to go to bed, and before going to bed, I realized something, and this pertains to a certain entity or being that I've encountered twice now, without even realizing it, and um, each time I witness this being, whether or not it was imaginary is not the point it signifies something, but each time I encountered this being, the atmosphere was quite different each time. And I, uh, I'm perplexed by it, what it means. So, um, I made this video about two to three weeks ago that I never posted um, because it came off really really wrong and it just it didn't sound right um, because I'll describe it now what I was talking about and you'll understand why I probably wouldn't have posted that video but basically it was me rambling for 13 minutes about um, hallucinating basically is what I was talking about um, it was very very late at night and when I'm extremely sleep deprived, and that night I was, uh, I begin to hallucinate of, you know, and see uh, figures dart across the room in the corner of my eyes. And I've been known to uh, hallucinate to the point where I believe these beings are real, and I begin to get paranoid. Um, this only happens when I'm extremely sleep deprived. We're talking, um, you know, maybe 24 hours without sleep. And uh, that day I didn't get very much sleep at all. Um, I had about five hours of sleep the night before. I worked that day. I drank coffee, so I was in the coffee crash. And it was about 2.30 in the morning. So you can understand... <clears throat> where that came in, um, but besides that, besides the situation and hallucinating of the, you know, seeing these shadow figures in different heights and lengths um, run across the room, um, and being completely terrified of them, uh, I realized something when I looked at these beings, um, and stared in the direction in which they they disappeared off to, you know, behind garbage cans and behind uh, tables and chairs. And um, there was a particular one that I saw that was very, very short, very, very short, maybe three and a half feet tall, maybe three feet tall, and uh, possibly four, that's that's really pushing it, four is too tall, but probably about three to four feet tall, somewhere in between there. And uh, this short little uh, being reminded me of a munchkin, of some sort of just tiny little figure. And, um, you know, in in the video I talked about how I made it the day after um, I had this experience, but um, I was talking about how I, as I was staring in its direction, I imagined what the being thought of me, and how all of the beings that I was encountering, these shadow beings, which were really hallucinations, were all probably deathly afraid of me. Why would they be running away from me? Um, so they were just as scared as I was. And I was imagining, um, you know, it, it was really a mind exploding experience because I was thinking about what if I was their imagination, their hallucination, and I am what they would perceive as a person, you know, looking at them, um, just as I was looking at them, and I, I was, the video was about how you really don't know what's real and what's fake in this world, and I very well could have been a hallucination, um, from them, or one of them, 
but this isn't the point. That video isn't the point. I could have posted that video, and uh, it would have told the story a lot longer, but basically it would have said this. But the point is the munchkin. The munchkin that I was focusing on, this little short being, He reminded me of something, but I didn't know what, and I didn't focus on it at the time. And now looking back, I realize what it was, what this munchkin was, this little short entity, shadow figure. If you guys recall uh, my astral projection videos, I believe it was the second one, second astral projection, maybe the third. I, I don't know if I even posted three yet. Um, I haven't had a third experience that I know of. Um, I can't remember the amount of videos. I just can't remember. Uh, but I believe it was the second video. I talked about how there was a shovel and, uh, you know, digging stuff. Um, and it was seemingly, uh, like, floating. And there was this munchkin that was with me while I was viewing this, this shovel digging out dirt and it said something to me that was I, I perceived to be like demonic um, it was frightening and it scared me out of the astral projection experience now looking back on it I believe that these two figures whether or not they're real whether or not they're in my imagination were a representation of the same being I don't think they were the same being, but I think they were a representation in some form. That this hallucination was an adaptation of the astral projection experience in some way. Uh, which is quite interesting when you look at it. So, I wanted to share this epiphany that I um, have learned. That the shadow figure and the munchkin from my astral projection experience were connected in some way because they I didn't quite pin it down I didn't understand that they were connected but I it felt familiar to me that figure and I really put a lot of attention on that figure um, above all the other figures there was figures that were seven feet tall figures that were only two feet tall no I focused on the three to four feet foot tall being and it really reminded me of the munchkin, the way it walked, the way it moved. I mean, these figures, they dart in front of you, but just the way it was moving reminded me of it. I don't know. And the way it looked, the, the silhouette of the figure looked the same. So uh, I just wanted to share that, that this munchkin may be making an appearance in the future and maybe astral projections or... Um, dreams or something it might come back and i want to explore what that munchkin is and what it means and who it is or what it is whatever i'm curious i don't know so continue to explore with me love you all see you later peace